Hi friends, in this video we're going to talk about how to set up Kibana in Windows. So what is Kibana? Kibana is a data exploration, visualization and administration tool for Elasticsearch database. So Elasticsearch is a document database. If you don't know what is Elasticsearch or how to set up Elasticsearch in Windows, I've already created a playlist on that and I will leave the link of that playlist in the description. So if you want to draw an analogy, Kibana for Elasticsearch is just like SQL developer for Oracle, PG admin for Postgres SQL, or PHP admin for MySQL. You can create interactive dashboards, customizable visualizations like line charts, bar charts, pie charts, maps, heat maps, etc. using Kibana over the Elasticsearch data. You can also perform administrative tasks like creating indexes, index life cycles, etc. So using Kibana, users can gain valuable insights on the Elasticsearch data without any coding skills. All right. Where does Kibana stand in the Elasticsearch ecosystem? So as we discussed, Elasticsearch is a document database and Elasticsearch gets its data populated from various data sources like some scripts or beats or log stash, etc. So data will be populated in the Elasticsearch from the different data sources. And to view the Elasticsearch database, Kibana application can be linked to the Elasticsearch database. So Kibana is basically a web-based application. So users can use their browser to log into Kibana and access the Elasticsearch data. All right, now we know what's Kibana, let's try to install it. So to install Kibana, you have to download it. So it can be downloaded from this page of the Elasticsearch downloads page. So elastic.co downloads Kibana and choose the platform as Windows, click the download button and Kibana zip file will be downloaded. So once the Kibana zip file is downloaded, you can just extract this and place it in the C drive so I have extracted the Kibana zip file and pasted it here. So I have named the folder something like Kibana 8.10.2. So it's Kibana dash version. You can name it anything obviously. So in the Kibana folder, you have the Kibana application. All right, we've downloaded Kibana. Now let's try to configure it. So we said Kibana will access Elasticsearch, right? So further, a user should be created in the Elasticsearch database and that will be used by the Kibana to access the Elasticsearch data. So Elasticsearch by default has a user called Kibana underscore system and we need to reset the password of Kibana underscore system and provide the credentials to Kibana so that it can access the Elasticsearch database. So to reset the password of the Elasticsearch Kibana system user, you need to run a command. But before running the command, just make sure that Elasticsearch is running. I am seeing that my Elasticsearch service is running and then I'll go to the Elasticsearch folder and in that I'll open the bin folder and you have a lot of batch files here and the batch file which I need is Elasticsearch reset password dot back. So let's try to open a command prompt in this folder and now I'm going to write Elasticsearch reset password space minus i for interactive mode and then I'm going to select the user as minus u kibana underscore system. So I'm going to continue and I should enter the password for kibana system now. So I'm going to choose a password. So I have successfully reset the Kibana underscore system user password in the Elasticsearch. All right, we have completed the step of resetting the password of the Kibana system user in Elasticsearch. Now let's try to configure Kibana. So the configuration of Kibana can be found in the Kibana folder, config folder and Kibana.yml file. So let's try to open this with VS Code. You can even open this with any text editor. But VS Code gives nice syntax highlighting for YML files. All right, first let's set up the connectivity with Elasticsearch. For that, you need to enter the credentials, right? So these are my credentials which I have set in the command prompt. So the username is Kibana system and the password is the password which I have set in the command line. All right, I've entered the credentials. And then you need to point your Kibana to Elasticsearch instance. My Elasticsearch is running on this machine on HTTPS actually. So I'm writing Elasticsearch.hosts equal to HTTPS localhost 9200. If your Elasticsearch is listening on a remote URL, you have to write the IP address of Elasticsearch and port here. And one more thing is I am running Elasticsearch on HTTPS on localhost, but the certificate is not genuine because it's a localhost setup. So to ignore SSL errors, you need to write Elasticsearch SSL verification mode as none. So SSL checking will not be done. Obviously for production, you should not do this. All right, we have configured the connectivity of Kibana with Elasticsearch. Let's try to see some common configurations. One of the configuration is the server.port. By default, Kibana listens on 5601 port. That means 
you can open Kibana in localhost 5601 port. If you want to change the port, you can change it using server.port and I can write something like 5602. So my Kibana will run on port 5602 now. Alright, let's try to revert back into 5601. And you can even allow remote connections to Kibana. By default, Kibana will be accessible only on localhost. That means you can open Kibana from this machine only. But suppose if you want to run Kibana in the local LAN, you can replace server.host with your local LAN IP address. Let me see my LAN IP address of this machine. So in the IP config, I can see my LAN IP address. I can just copy this and paste it here so that the people in my LAN can access Kibana. So this is how you can control remote connections to Kibana. All right, that's it. We have configured Kibana also. Now let's try to run Kibana from the command line. So I'm going to the Kibana folder and opening the Bing folder. And here you got the Kibana.bat. Running this will actually run Kibana. So let's try to open the command prompt here. And here I'm going to write Kibana.bat. So I'm going to click enter. So if you're running Kibana for the first time, it may take some time. So you need to wait for the first time. All right, now I'm seeing logs. Kibana is starting. Now after some time, some logs have come and we are seeing that Kibana is now available. So let's go to localhost 5601 and let's try to click enter. And now you are able to see the Kibana. Let's try to log in with our Elastic user. And finally, we've logged into Kibana. So it's that simple to set up Kibana. One thing you have to notice here is Kibana is running in a command line. So if I just close the command line and try to reload this, you can see you're unable to connect to Kibana. So instead of running Kibana in a command line, you can run it as a background service in Windows so that people don't accidentally close the command line. So we're going to use a tool called NSSM to run Kibana as a background service in Windows. So for that, you need to go to the NSSM site to download the NSSM EXE. So I'm going to go to the download section and click on the latest release and download the NSSM. And here in the zip file, you just need the Win64 EXE file, copy it to C drive. So I have copied NSSM and placed it in C NSSM Win64 NSSM.exe. Now using this NSSM.exe, I'm going to create a background service for Kibana. So open an administrative command line. So I'm going to run the command prompt as an administrator now. So go to the folder where NSSM is present. So I'm going to write CD C NSSM and Win64. And now I'm going to write NSSM.exe install the name of my service. I'm going to just name my service as Kibana service. So I'm going to write Kibana underscore service. And now NSSM gives a pop-up window where you can specify which batch file you want to run as a background service. So I'm going to select the path here. So I'm going to go to the C drive, Kibana folder, bin folder, Kibana.bat. So I've selected the bat file and then in the tabs above, click the IO tab and NSSM requires an output file to emit the command line outputs otherwise it won't run the service so I'm going to create an output file here so I'm going to select the path and in the Kibana folder I'm going to create a new folder called service logs and here let's try to create a new file I'm going to write Kibana underscore logs dot txt or you can even write dot log so I'm going to select this file as the output and error stream so the command line output of this background service will be emitted into this log file. And then let's select the file rotation tab. You know what happens is that as the service runs, the data in the log file will be appended and the file becomes large. So this might make the service slow or may stop the service. So we need to enable file rotation. So for that, I'm going to select all these check marks. And I want to rotate the file when the file crosses 5 MB. So 5 MB would be something like 10485760 so it's basically 1024 into 1024 into 5 and that's it we have set the background service settings so let's try to recap here in the application tab select the kibana bat file and in the io tab select the text file for emitting the logs and click the file rotation tab to enable file rotation for every say 5 mb so i'm going to click install service and kibana service is installed successfully so let's try to click ok and now let's try to open our services. So I'm going to open the services app and here you're going to see the Kibana service which we have created just now. You can see the startup type is automatic. If not, you can go to the properties and select the startup type to be automatic or automatic delayed start so that 
Kibana will start when the PC restarts automatically. Click OK and let's try to run our Kibana service. So Kibana service is running and now let's try to reload localhost 5601. Obviously Kibana is taking time to start so let's try to wait. In the meantime let's try to open the kibana logs.log file and here the whole command line output is being emitted to the log file. So now after reloading localhost 5601 kibana is running. You can see there is no command line and still the kibana is running because kibana is running as a windows service. Alright one more best practice is making kibana service dependent on elasticsearch service. That means if elastic service is restarted kibana will also restart and if elastic service is shut down kibana will be shut down so this is my elastic search service let's try to double click this and here the service name is elastic search service x64 let's try to copy the service name and let's try to open an administrative command prompt to open nssm so i'm going to go to the nssm folder cd c nssm win64 and here i'm going to write nssm dot exe space edit because already we have installed the service kibana underscore service and now we can edit the service so here in the dependencies tab i'm going to paste the service name so i am telling that kibana service is dependent on this service so let's try to edit the service and the service is edited successfully and let's try to restart the kibana service now kibana service is dependent on elasticsearch service to just prove our point let's try to restart the elasticsearch service and it's gonna say that this service is dependent which is kibana service do you want to restart this service also you can choose yes so first kibana service will be restarted then elasticsearch service will be restarted so that's it guys this is how you can set up kibana in windows you can see I have created a blog post on setting up Kibana in Windows. I have given the notes and the required steps to set up Kibana. The steps to set up the Kibana as a Windows background service is also given. I have also given you the references to the official documentation to do further reading. So please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. Please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section. We have also created an Android app to access our blog and videos. So check out the Android app. I will leave the link of the app in the description. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.